Welcome to the Chemotherapy Education Program. You are viewing this presentation because your physician would like to start you on a chemotherapy regimen known as Folfox, with or without bevacizumab. If you are participating in a chemotherapy education class, personal information may be shared by attendees. Because this information is sensitive, only share what you are comfortable with others knowing. We will review the fundamentals of chemotherapy. This presentation will also offer additional tips, handouts, and other resources for patients. A member of your healthcare team will answer your questions at the end of this presentation. Your healthcare team can provide you with a number of handouts that we will refer to throughout the presentation. We will first discuss what medicines are included in your chemotherapy. You will learn how and when they are given and where chemotherapy is usually administered. In general, chemotherapy refers to a group of medicines that are used to kill cancer cells. Chemotherapy can be used in combinations and may be combined with other medicines known as targeted therapies to kill cancer cells in different ways. Your chemotherapy, Folfox, consists of two medicines. One is called fluorouracil, or 5-FU, and the other is called oxaliplatin. Your doctor may have mentioned giving you an additional drug known as bevacizumab, or Avastin. We will cover this targeted therapy at the end of the presentation. Sometimes you may see an additional medicine called leucovorin added to your treatment. This is not chemotherapy. Your doctor will determine whether it's appropriate for you. Chemotherapy is usually given at an Ambulatory Treatment Center, or ATC. Your chemotherapy infusion appointments will appear on your schedule that you can access through My Chart Online. While printed copies of your appointments are available, schedules for appointments listed on My Chart are updated in real time. For more information about the location and process of receiving treatment in the ATC, ask your healthcare team or refer to the handout entitled, Welcome to the Ambulatory Treatment Center. Your chemotherapy will be given into a vein. All patients who receive Folfox at our institution will require placement of a central line in the form of a PICC line or portacath. Chemotherapy and all other IV medicines will be administered through the same IV line. Each central line requires maintenance and care. Talk to your doctor if you have any questions about specific IV lines. The Infusion Therapy Clinic, located on the eighth floor of the main building, offers a variety of classes regarding the care and maintenance of your central IV line. You can also come here to access your implanted port on days of treatment. The full FOX regimen is given once every two weeks. The first part of your treatment will be given and completed at the infusion center. This includes IV medicines to prevent nausea and vomiting and the first chemotherapy medicine, oxaliplatin. This will take approximately three to four hours. Once this is completed, the nurse will attach a pump containing fluorouracil to your central IV line. This pump continuously infuses chemotherapy over approximately two days in the convenience of your home. On the third day, you will return to the infusion center to have the pump disconnected. It is important to see your doctor regularly. Prior to chemotherapy, your healthcare team will schedule blood work and or a clinic visit. If you are feeling unwell, do not wait until your next office visit please call the clinic or send a message through my chart to discuss issues or side effects that you have. Your healthcare team will provide you with a gastrointestinal oncology department contact sheet. This sheet includes the phone number for the GI clinic. The next part of this presentation will review side effects associated with full Fox chemotherapy. You will also learn how to manage some of these side effects at home. Before we talk about the specific side effects, please note that different people can have different reactions or side effects to chemotherapy. Unfortunately, we will not be able to cover every side effect of chemotherapy. Instead, we will review the most common side effects. 
Serious but rare side effects will also be discussed to help you identify when to seek urgent medical attention. While your chemotherapy can potentially cause nausea and or vomiting, we commonly give IV medicines at the start of your infusion appointment to prevent nausea. The names of some of these medicines are listed. Ondansetron and dexamethasone are standard anti-nausea medicines for everyone receiving Fulfox. In case you develop nausea at home, your oncologist will prescribe some medicines like ondansetron or procloperazine that you can take by mouth. Each medicine works differently, and your prescription bottle will indicate how often you can take each medicine. Only take these nausea medicines if you have nausea. Your white blood cells, which help the body fight off infection, will fall after you receive chemotherapy. You can reduce the risk of infection by practicing healthy hygiene habits, such as washing your hands regularly or avoiding contact with sick persons. Keep an oral thermometer at home. If you develop a fever greater than 101 degrees Fahrenheit, 38.3 degrees Celsius, immediately go to the nearest emergency center. This may be a sign of infection. You may have anemia if your red blood cell count is low. Typically, this can result in fatigue, dizziness, or shortness of breath. We encourage patients to stay active and do light exercise in between chemotherapy treatments, but remember not to overdo it. Patients who have low platelet counts may bruise more easily or take more time to recover from scrapes and cuts. Before each dose of chemotherapy, you will complete lab work to check your blood counts. Oxaliplatin may cause increased sensitivity to cold objects. Eating or drinking cold food and drink or touching cold objects could cause discomfort and pain. This tends to occur after every dose of oxaliplatin and lasts up to five days after you receive oxaliplatin. We recommend that you avoid coming in contact with anything cold during this period, such as ice cubes or cold water. This discomfort or pain should resolve within minutes after removing the cold item. Another oxaliplatin side effect is numbness and tingling of the hands and feet, or neuropathy. This is a gradual side effect that may get worse over time as you receive more doses of oxaliplatin. Minor neuropathy may resolve within 6 to 12 months of stopping oxaliplatin, but severe neuropathy may be permanent. It is important to communicate with your healthcare team at each visit about the severity of neuropathy and whether it is affecting your quality of life. It is possible to develop a serious allergic reaction to oxaliplatin. It generally occurs during or within hours of an oxaliplatin infusion. This is a rare side effect, but your risk increases as you receive more doses of oxaliplatin. If you develop itchiness, redness, chills, facial flushing, tightness in your throat, or shortness of breath, notify the nurse immediately. They will give you medicines that can stop and reverse this reaction. Fluorouracil is usually well tolerated, but some side effects include mouth sores and diarrhea. Preventing mouth sores is the key. You can make a home mixture of baking soda and water. Swish and spit anywhere from two to four times daily. Other ideas, like using a soft bristled toothbrush or good oral hygiene, can help reduce mouth sores. If you still develop mouth sores, notify your healthcare team. Diarrhea, defined as loose or watery stools, or an increase in the frequency of stools, can occur after you receive fluorouracil. If you do not have a fever greater than 101 degrees Fahrenheit, you can take loperamide tablets by mouth. Notify your healthcare team if diarrhea lasts longer than 12 hours. Hand-foot syndrome is most commonly described as any redness, dryness, or swelling of the soles of the feet or the palms of the hands. If peeling or blistering develops, it can be painful. To help prevent hand-foot syndrome, apply moisturizing lotion several times daily. On the next clinic visit, tell your healthcare team if you have problems with hand-foot syndrome. While receiving fluorouracil, you may sunburn more easily, so apply sunscreen and wear protective clothing when outdoors. Although rare, patients taking fluorouracil can develop changes in their heart function. This usually happens while the pump is infusing fluorouracil. 
Go to the nearest emergency room if you have pain or tightness in your chest. Full Fox chemotherapy can cause hair thinning, but complete hair loss is rare. Indy Anderson offers a beauty and barber shop that is open Monday through Friday. Your oncologist might add a third medicine called bevacizumab to your chemotherapy regimen. It works by preventing new blood vessels from forming and stops the growth of the cancer. Common side effects include increased blood pressure, minor nose bleeding, and headaches. At each visit, your healthcare team will assess each of these side effects prior to receiving the next dose of bevacizumab. In patients who have undergone a recent surgery, bevacizumab slows down wound healing. It is important to tell your oncologist about upcoming surgical procedures within the next 30 to 60 days. Rare but serious side effects include a risk of perforation, obstruction, major bleeding, or blood clots. If you develop serious symptoms, go to the nearest emergency room immediately. These include significant and new abdominal pain, profound nausea or vomiting, inability to have a bowel movement, a severe nosebleed that won't stop, blood when you cough, new chest tightness, and a swollen and red leg that is painful. Let's take a moment to talk about safety, your safety at MD Anderson. To ensure the safest approach to administering the right dose of chemotherapy to the right person at the right time, Several steps are in place at MD Anderson to ensure high-quality health care. In fact, multiple providers review and sign off on your treatment to guarantee the highest level of accuracy. You and your family members and caregivers have a role to play as well. Always check that your identification wristband is correctly labeled with your name and medical record number. Every provider should confirm your identity and all medicines should be correctly labeled and identified for you. Before we finish, here are several helpful tips and resources. You may want to pack a bag to take with you to the infusion center. Some examples are listed here on this slide. Other ATC resources include free Wi-Fi and television. We recommend that you eat prior to your treatment but you may also eat or drink while receiving chemotherapy. If you have an implanted port, remember to ask for Emla numbing cream. To reduce pain, apply the cream 30 minutes before each time your port is accessed. For more information, visit the Learning Center. You can find additional information about cancer treatments and general health. We hope that this presentation has helped prepare you for chemotherapy. If you have any questions, please ask a member of your healthcare team.